San Diego man arrested for taking two-year-old inside elephant exhibit at the zoo. 25-year-old man was arrested Friday after police said he and his two-year-old daughter made it well inside the elephant exhibit at the San Diego Zoo. And it goes on about what happened. It's, it says that they hear this woman yelling at Jose to stop. Witnesses uh, said that he, had, he jumps the fence and then goes through the elephant enclosure with his little girl that was under two. Um, you know... He says he runs through, throws his baby through the gate, and it's seconds from hitting him. He jumps through the gate, falls on the ground, and then it roared, speaking of the elephant. Oh. The baby starts crying, <laughs> and people that. were just mad at this guy. I don't know. I don't know. This... I was just like, what? And nobody had it on video. That's what I'm surprised. That's what amazes <laughs> me. Right. Nobody had their camera out. Far. How did he get in there? It's, it's not crazy. like there's one little fence. No. I, this was <laughs> this was crazy to me. I like I picked this article because being a photographer, he did this for a selfie in front of the elephant. That's that was his reasoning. Reason. That was his reasoning. Yeah. So it's like I get it, but <gasps> no, I don't no, get it. I don't it. get it. It's not worth that. You know, <laughs> no. when we were in Hawaii, and there would be um, people standing on the edge of the volcano just to get that mm. one extra perfect selfie or a perfect something think about this mm -hmm. you know and that's one side of it the other side is endangering this child and he actually dropped her as he was getting out he threw her yes. through yes. the over the fence like, yes little his baby yes. i'm like what <laughs> a two-year-old of course the baby's gonna be crying yeah. i don't know and i mean I maybe he was jumping on the grenade and got his kid out of the way but <laughs> You shouldn't have brought her in there. But if there were people enough, and I'm not saying anything negative towards the zoo, but I'm just saying if there were enough people around and people were seeing this, nobody from that zoo could have got there fast enough to... Or the visitors? Yes, that's what I mean. It just seems crazy that it led to this, that it got this far into it. And the fact that nobody, again, we mentioned it, was filming it is amazing because everybody right. films yeah. everything nowadays. Everything. So was it that, like... Awe inspiring that nobody could do anything. Did he, did he get his selfie though? Did he get his selfie? That's what <laughs> I want to know. He cracked I think he took his phone and Yeah. I, <laughs> it said he was. Picture. The only thing I remember is it said you know he was he trying got, to get a selfie. He got $100,000. Yeah. If I remember correctly, yeah. he got a bail. Nice little bail there. So add yeah. that to your record. I don't know. Well, Betty won't be doing that again. No. Uh, he did it once. He might do it again. Because right. well, he's gonna screw it up for other people. Because now he got to pass all those boundaries and everything like that, and now they'll just run it for other people yeah. that are gonna try and get selfies yeah, with elephants. Mm -hmm. No, they'll have to put up more parameters. So they're right. crazy people with if, kids. Don't do that. I think it's actually a good thing. Sometimes these things are a good thing to realize that you know even idiots can get through things. So I think if anything, we're gonna take a learning lesson out of this. They need to be more prepared, make sure nobody can get through. So, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes it's unfortunate that tragedies um, create more boundaries and we, we think of more laws and stuff like that. So hopefully nobody else will be doing this in the near future. I think that we need to have less laws and we need to be less tolerant. Amen, thank you. I <laughs> really- Let nature you. work itself out? No, no, <laughs> I, I think, I think the forefathers had it. They, I think they did a pretty dynamically, incredibly good job. Um, our Constitution, our Bill of Rights, all these things. Uh, if you really, if you got rid of everything like they did then, there was this stuff didn't happen. This stuff happens. The the gun violence wasn't around, and every single person had an arsenal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there weren't mass shootings. There, there, this didn't happen. This stuff did not happen. When it started happening was when we started to say no on all these things instead of yes on all these things. Yeah. Well, natural selection. That you go into an elephant cage, the elephant's going to take care of it. Just like they did now. Right? <laughs> it's not about um, gun control. It's about gun encouragement. So people should be carrying compared to controlling that you're not carrying. Do you get the difference of it? Yeah. That's no, a I whole totally another didn't. episode. I know. <laughs> I know. He brought it up. I know. Oh, yeah. yeah. Natural selection comes to mind. At, maybe that's why things were better back then, because the idiots were just taken care of naturally. But that's kind of sadistic. But that... I, I, I did a speech um, not long after COVID had hit, and, and everything just went, everybody went crazy. And I said... You know, why are people so, what, what's your belief system? I, it's too long to, I'm going to try to sum it up. 
let, let me put it like this. I said, you know, what's your belief system? Is your belief system religion? Is your belief system like evolution? Is it is that what you base natural selection on? And uh, do you believe in science? Is that your belief system? Or do you believe in government? Is that your belief system? Because when I was talking to a lot of people, that's what people like believed, right? People were, it was either like they were religious people. They believed in science. That was kind of their belief system. And government was also another belief system, whether it was our government or where they were from or whatever might have been. And then, you know, obviously evolution is a belief system. And all those people were scared when COVID hit. Well, if you're religious, you shouldn't be scared because you believe in a higher power and someone else is in control. Okay. You believe in evolution, you shouldn't be scared because natural selection. If you're going to go, you can't change it, right? Mm -hmm. Now, you believe in government. I can see the fear there because the government <laughs> constantly changes. <laughs> I can see the fear in science because science constantly, constantly changes. And not only did it change, is they would never agree on anything when this first started, and they're still not. You know, so there's those. So what I'm saying is, is that you really have to understand your belief system in order for you to move forward and decide what you're going to do, what you're going to complain about, what you're going to say should and shouldn't be. But we, we have to say yes to more things and no to less things. That's just my rant again. I'm, I'm on a rant today. You're doing a good job. You're doing a good job. I should like be a professional speaker or something. <laughs> <laughs> Do it a try. Hey, we can hire you. Yeah. You're, you're for hire, sure. aren't you? Uh, I have of course. to pay you off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're hot, but we got Fresh out of the trunk. They get all fresh <laughs> out of the trunk. <laughs> so, so seriously, where did you get <laughs> well, you know, Seven, ten. ten. I'll give you eight. Yeah. Ten. I'm, a, I'm an entrepreneur. Ten. <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you to Natalie, actually. Her mom was so kind to meet me. Yeah, on shout out to Natalie. Yeah, Natalie, Aww. Girl Thanks, Scout Natalie. of America. And um, her mom met me on her lunch break yesterday, and I was able to get all these cookies. So thank you to Natalie and her mom. And we love supporting our Girl Scouts. Mm -hmm. nice. My waist does too. Yeah. After that rant, it, I, it's so I, quiet. everybody <laughs> like, yeah. uh, hello, now what? <laughs> Mic <Yeah>. check. Um, <laughs> I, I to wrap it up. We we're at an hour, so sure. we try to be an hour. So yeah. let's wrap this thing up. Nice. Hey, thanks for joining us, everybody. I'm gonna get, uh, throw it over to my left. Let me explain what we're what we have going on. To my left, I've had some people ask, not today, but some people have asked. To my left is where Craig and Martha May are, and then we also have a a monitor over on the end of the table here, the opposite end of where I'm sitting is a monitor huge like i don't know is a 65 inch or something like that monitor so uh, everybody can see on this monitor what we're looking at on the computer and stuff like that which we show on the screen for you every now and then so that's what's to my left to my right we said earlier is lisa and harmony and things like that so let's uh let's go left and tell us how we can find you uh craig Uglin, you can find me on facebook and instagram Martha Makishadi on Facebook, and last week I said, two weeks ago I said it was Mike Lundell, but now he's going to come out with, he's going to call it Frank. And I'm Harmony Sage, and you can find me on Facebook. Lisa Lingle, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram. You're so professional. Yeah. You two over there. <laughs> oh, and we're not. We're not? No. <laughs> well, well, we I mean, call a spade a spade. That's what we're all about. We, you know, we yeah, look different. Means, we, yeah. different. <laughs> we all have different perspectives. Just, no. Just giving y'all crap. <laughs> yeah. I am Matt Logan. You can find me everywhere at Matt Logan Speaks. Uh, also, MattLoganSpeaks.com. The website's taking a little bit longer. I mean, we're trying to build it and stuff. And there's a. I've been working like people, the people that help me out a ton, and a lot of stuff going on in the background. Um, I talked about maybe I'll I'll, sh I'll throw this out there at the end here. I talked about. Um, some of the plans. So I'm planning on buying a bus. Did y'all know that? Have I, have I talked about it? Yeah, you mentioned it briefly. Yeah, we're gonna go on the road I'm, with you. Uh, you said. A, uh, we're gonna go to Hawaii charter. and then we're gonna go on the road with you. I thought we're heading down the border. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <I think> so. <laughs> we're hitting that rest stop first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go Other direction. Which border? Because that'd yeah. be Canada. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I need some Brazilian wood in my life. <laughs> the, the, the point being is, is there's so many Enrique? things that are constantly going on, and we, you know we can't talk about all of them. But buy a bus, do podcasts on the road, do. You know, go to an area for a couple of days. You know, you probably all can't come with me. It's too expensive for me to 
foot the bill, but you know what? What can I say? We'll we see. Can do fundraisers, go fundraisers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sell Girl Scout yeah. cookies. And so, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. That out of this, there's a Brazilian wood. Yeah. Totally. Um, I think I know where we can find some Brazilian. We need wood. sponsors. We need sponsorships. We need. But our own yeah, sponsors. you know, I, I guess the the nuts and bolts of it. Matt Logan speaks. I started to be kind of a cultural thing and a positive cultural thing. Like it, it's not just about news or politics. It's not just about you know. I, I do a lot of distracted driving work. It's not just about that. It's about having fun. Like we're having fun while discussing these things. Uh, I started at the first live event. Um, some people here in this room were there in September of 2019. It was the first live event, and that that COVID kind of wrecked that. We did a live event in March, um, live podcast actually. So we did a podcast live in front of a live audience, and that's the things that I, we're trying to do here is really build culture. I'm working on something else, um, another. Another podcast, uh, uh, entertainment, kind of talk about entertainment, movies, things like that. So just about positive culture, not not anything with a agenda or do it this way, and uh, it's not a culture war type thing. It's just a it's just a look at things in a different positive way. So a lot of things going on. So we do appreciate you watching, listening, ha uh, hammering the the share button, hammering the like button, hammer out a comment to us, and we will see you at noon next Friday. Hey, a lot of people have asked how they can support the work we're doing here at Matt Logan Speaks. Well, you see this hammer that I got in my hand? It's pretty big. All you have to do is hammer the share button. Go ahead and hammer out a comment to us. Go ahead and hammer the like button. Go ahead and hammer the subscription button. Go ahead and hammer the notification bell so that when we have new content up, you're the first to know about it. We really appreciate the comments, shares, likes, because you know what? That's the best way you can support us because the algorithms on all these fancy computers, that's what they need. We appreciate it.